Have you ever wondered why some people seem unshakable in the face of chaos, while others crumble at the slightest hurdle? Picture this. You're having the worst day imaginable. Everything that can go wrong does. But amidst this storm, there's someone who remains as calm as a still lake on a quiet morning. How do they do it? What's their secret? Today, we're diving into the ancient yet astonishingly relevant world of Stoicism. This isn't just a philosophy from dusty old books. It's a lifeline in our turbulent times. Imagine turning every challenge into a stepping stone, mastering the art of staying cool when life heats up. If you've ever felt overwhelmed, lost, or just in need of a mental toolkit to navigate life's twists and turns, stick around. We're about to uncover some timeless wisdom that could be the game changer you've been looking for. Get ready to transform the way you see and tackle life's ups and downs. This isn't just another self-help spiel. It's a journey to the heart of resilience and peace. Are you ready to join me? Let's get started. And hey, if you want to be as cool as a cucumber in a world of hot tomatoes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and stick with me till the end. Skipping parts of this video might just make you miss the secret ingredient to your Zen source. 1. Focus on what you can control. I know what you're thinking. Easier said than done, right? But here's the thing, in the Stoic playbook, this is like the golden rule. Life's like a wild river. You can't control the flow, but you can steer your boat. It's all about where you put your energy. Think about it. We spend so much time stressing over stuff that's completely out of our hands, the traffic, the weather, or even how others act or feel. But Stoicism teaches us to hit the pause button on that. It says, Hey, focus on your own actions, your own choices. This is where your power lies. It's like being in a video game where you can't control the level design, but you sure can master the controls. Here's a fun way to look at it. Imagine your mind is like your smartphone. You've got limited battery life each day. Every time you stress over things you can't control, it's like running a bunch of unnecessary apps in the background, draining your battery. So, what do you do? You close those apps. Focus on what's in your control, your reactions, your mindset, your actions. That's your main app. And this isn't about ignoring the big picture or pretending problems don't exist. Nah, it's about zeroing in on the part of the problem that you can actually do something about. It's like being a gardener in the garden of your life. You can't control the weather, but you can decide what to plant and how to take care of it. So next time you're in a jam and you feel that frustration bubbling up, ask yourself, is this within my control? If it's not, take a deep stoic breath and let it go. Channel your inner Marcus Aurelius. Imagine him shrugging off the things he couldn't control like plagues and palace politics, and focusing on his decisions and actions. That's stoicism in action, my friends. It's about taking the driver's seat in the areas of your life where you actually have a say. Trust me, it's liberating, and it's a game-changer. 2. The superpower of acceptance. Now, don't get me wrong. Acceptance doesn't mean you throw up your hands and say, well, that's just how it is. It's more like a secret weapon in your mental arsenal. It's about facing the music, not turning off the radio. Imagine you're at your favorite beach, watching the waves. You see them rolling in, unstoppable. You can't command the ocean, right? But what you can do is learn to surf. That's acceptance, stoic style. It's about recognizing that some things, like waves, are just part of the landscape of life. Instead of fighting them, you learn to ride them. Now let's get real. Life throws curveballs, missed the bus, spilled coffee on your new shirt. It's easy to let these things ruin your day, but Stoicism nudges us to look at these hiccups and say, okay, this happened, what's next? 
It's not about ignoring the mess. It's about cleaning it up and moving on. Think of Marcus Aurelius, our stoic superstar. If he were around today, he'd probably be the calm guy in the traffic jam, not honking and stressing, but using the time to reflect, plan, or just breathe. He understood that getting worked up over things out of his control was like trying to teach a fish to walk. Pointless and frustrating. Acceptance is like this cool mental yoga. It makes you flexible, adaptable. You start to see challenges not as dead ends, but as detours or new routes. It's not passive, it's powerful. When you accept the uncontrollable, you free up so much energy to focus on what you can influence. It's about playing the hand you're dealt with as much skill and grace as you can muster. And remember, stoicism isn't about being emotionless. Feel those feelings, frustration, disappointment, surprise. But then, have a chat with them. Say, hey, I see you, but you're not steering this ship. Take that deep breath, find your center, and decide how you'll respond in a way that serves you best. So, embrace the superpower of acceptance. It's like being a tree in a storm. You might sway, but you won't break. And each time you practice this, you're not just surviving, you're thriving, growing stronger and more resilient. And that's what being stoic is all about, finding your calm in the chaos of life. 3. Live in the now. I know, it sounds like something off a motivational poster, but hear me out. This is where stoicism really hits home. It's about anchoring yourself in the present, which, let's be honest, isn't always easy with our crazy, fast-paced lives. You know those days when your brain's time-traveling, worrying about tomorrow's meeting, still cringing over yesterday's awkward conversation. Stoicism steps in and says, Hey, slow down. What's happening right here, right now? It's like a friendly nudge to stop and smell the roses, literally and figuratively. Picture this. You're sipping your morning coffee, but instead of scrolling through your phone, lost in a sea of emails and memes, you're just there, with the coffee, tasting it, feeling the warmth of the cup. That's living in the now stoic style. It's not about grand gestures, it's finding magic in the mundane. Marcus Aurelius, our stoic buddy, was big on this. Imagine being an emperor with a million things on your plate, but still finding time to be in the moment. That's the kind of strength we're talking about. It's about being fully present, whether you're in a palace or just doing your daily chores. So, how do we practice this? Start small. Next time you're eating, pay attention to every bite. When walking, feel each step. It's about turning ordinary moments into extraordinary ones by being fully there. And when your mind starts to wander, and it will, just gently guide it back. This isn't about being perfect, it's about being present. Remember, mindfulness in Stoicism isn't about escaping reality. It's about being more tuned into it, facing life's challenges with a calm mind and a steady heart. When stress knocks, mindfulness is that deep breath before you answer. It's realizing that this moment, right now, is all we truly have. Embrace it, live it, love it. This is what Stoics aim for. Not an easy life, but a deeply meaningful one. Mindfulness, simple yet profound, is your tool for a more focused, calm and resilient life. So let's make the most of the now, shall we? It's the most stoic thing you can do. 4. Build your inner strength. Now, I'm not talking about hitting the gym and lifting weights, although that's cool too. I'm talking about that inner muscle, the kind that keeps you standing when life tries to knock you down. We've all been there, right? Those days when it feels like the universe is playing dodgeball and you're the target. It's tough. But here's where stoicism comes in, like a wise old coach, reminding us that what doesn't knock us over makes us stronger. 
It's about developing resilience, that unshakable core inside you that says, bring it on life, I can take it. Let's take a page from the Stoic playbook. Think of folks like Seneca or Epictetus. They didn't have it easy, not by a long shot. Exiled, enslaved, you name it. But they saw these hardships not as roadblocks, but as opportunities to grow tougher, wiser. That's the Stoic spirit, facing the waves and learning to surf. Building inner strength is like training a muscle. Every time you choose to stand up after a setback, that muscle gets a bit stronger. It's about waking up each day and saying, OK world, what's next? And no matter what it throws at you, you're ready to catch it, learn from it, and throw it back even stronger. It's not about ignoring your struggles or pretending everything's peachy. It's about grabbing those struggles by the horns and wrestling them into something positive. Think of it as your mental gym. Every problem, every challenge is a new workout, and you're getting fitter every time. Now, building this kind of resilience, it's not a walk in the park. It's a journey, often uphill, with lots of bumps and bruises along the way. But remember, every step, no matter how small, is a step towards becoming your most stoic self. It's about embracing the discomfort, not running from it. When life throws a curveball, you catch it, examine it, learn from it. Your resilience isn't just about surviving the storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain, to find joy and strength even in the tough times. This is what Stoicism is all about. Not just enduring life, but thriving in it. So let's build that inner strength, one Stoic day at a time. 5. Choose your reaction. Now, this one's a game changer. It's like having the ultimate remote control for your life. Things happen, right? But here's the cool part. You get to choose how you react. That's what Stoicism is all about. Picture this. You're having one of those days. Your alarm didn't go off, you spilled coffee on your shirt, and now you're late. Classic, huh? Here's where Stoicism steps in. It says, OK, things went sideways, but how are you going to respond? It's like being the director of your own movie. Sure, you can't control everything that happens on set, but you can definitely direct the action. Now let's talk about our Stoic pals, like Marcus Aurelius. He wasn't just chilling on a throne, eating grapes. He had a ton of stuff to deal with. Wars, plagues, you name it. But he knew that freaking out wouldn't help. He chose to stay calm, think things through, and make wise decisions. That's the Stoic superpower. Controlling your reaction to control the situation. Choosing your reaction isn't about suppressing your emotions. Feel them, understand them, but then take a step back. It's like seeing your emotions as text messages. You read them, but you decide whether to reply, delete, or just let them sit. You're in control, not your immediate impulses. This is where stoicism really shines. It's not about being indifferent. It's about being in charge. When something bugs you, take a moment, breathe. That pause, that's where your power is. It's choosing to respond in a way that helps you, not hinders you. So next time life throws a curveball, remember, you're the one holding the bat. You can swing in anger, or you can take a strategic hit. It's your call. This approach transforms obstacles into opportunities. Frustrated with work, channel that energy into something creative. Heartbroken, use that depth of emotion to connect deeper with others or understand yourself better. By choosing your reaction, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. You're writing your own story, a narrative of resilience, growth, and stoic wisdom. So let's take control of that remote and make our reactions count. 6. Don't chase everything. This is a big one, especially in our world where it's all about having more, doing more, being more. 
But stoicism throws us a reality check here. It's like a wise old friend saying, hey, slow down, what really matters to you? You know how it is. We're always running after the next big thing, the latest phone, the trendiest clothes, the flashiest car. But stoicism asks us a crucial question. Will these things truly make you happy? It's like being at a buffet with endless choices, but realizing that not everything on the table is good for you. Let's take a leaf out of the Stoic book. Think about Marcus Aurelius or Seneca. These guys weren't chasing fame or luxury. They were after something more lasting, peace of mind, fulfillment, wisdom. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what brings real value to our lives. It's not about dimming your ambitions. It's about shining a light on what genuinely enriches you. So, how do we apply this? Start by decluttering. And I'm not just talking about your closet or garage. Declutter your mind from the junk of endless wants. Focus on what adds real value to your life. Relationships, personal growth, meaningful experiences. These are the true jewels. And when those waves of desire for the next big thing come crashing in, take a stoic pause. Ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it truly make me happier or just fill a temporary void? Often you'll find the answer is no. That's your cue to step back and appreciate what you already have. Remember, the richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. Stoicism isn't about living with nothing. It's about finding contentment with what you have. It's realizing that the race for more can be endless, but your happiness doesn't have to wait at the finish line. It's right here, right now, in living a life that's aligned with your true values. 7. Be your best self. This one's close to my heart because it's all about personal integrity and authenticity. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy you read about, it's something you live out day by day, choice by choice. So, what does it mean to be your best self? It's like Stoicism saying, hey, you've got this one life, this one canvas, paint something beautiful on it. It's not about grand heroic actions, it's about those little daily choices that define who we are. It's being kind when you could be indifferent, courageous when it's easier to hide, honest when lying might seem simpler. Think of the Stoics like Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus. These guys faced some real tough times. We're talking exile, battles, betrayals. But they stayed true to their core values. They knew that life's true test is not what happens to us, but how we respond. It's like being in a storm, but choosing to sing in the rain. Being your best self is about aligning your actions with your values. It's waking up and asking, what kind of person do I want to be today? And then it's doing things that reflect that choice. If you value peace, spread calmness. If you admire strength, stand up against injustices. It's about being the architect of your character. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. Some days it's a struggle. We're human after all. But that's where the beauty of Stoicism shines. It's about progress, not perfection. It's knowing that each day, each moment, is a fresh chance to be a little better than we were yesterday. Stoicism teaches us that our greatest victories are won not on battlefields, but within the quiet chambers of our hearts and minds. It's in those everyday moments of choice that we sculpt our legacy. Remember, it's not about grand gestures. It's about consistent, small acts of virtue. So let's be our best selves, not for likes or applause, but because it's the most authentic way to live. Every step towards being your best self is a step towards a more fulfilling, stoic life. Let's make those steps count. 8. Life's Always Changing This one hits home for all of us because, let's face it, the only constant in life is change, right? It's like stoicism reminding us to stay on our toes, ready to adapt. 
You know how you plan something down to the last detail, and then, out of nowhere, life throws a curveball. It happens to the best of us. Stoicism teaches us to embrace this ever-changing nature of life, not as a curse, but as a natural rhythm, kind of like the seasons. Think about Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic emperor we keep talking about. He saw some serious ups and downs, from battles to personal losses. Yet, he rolled with the punches. He understood that change is inevitable, like the ebb and flow of tides. Stoicism doesn't just acknowledge change, it tells us to dance with it. So, how do we do that? First, by understanding that change is natural. Don't cling too tightly to the current state of things, good or bad. It's like building a sandcastle on the beach. You know the tide will eventually come in, but that doesn't stop you from enjoying the building process. And here's the kicker. When you accept that change is inevitable, you start living more fully in the present. You appreciate the good times more deeply, knowing they won't last forever. And the tough times? They become easier to handle because you know they're just part of life cycle, not the end of the world. Living with this mindset helps us find balance. It's preparing for the future without getting lost in it. It's learning from the past without being trapped in it. It's about finding joy and meaning in the now. Because in the end, that's all we truly have. Remember, Stoicism isn't about being passive in the face of change. It's about being actively engaged in the present while being flexible for whatever comes next. It's like being a skillful surfer, riding the waves of change with grace and agility. So let's embrace life's constant dance of change, my friends. Let's live fully today. 9. Be thankful. This one's a heart warmer, and it's all about appreciating the small stuff. In a world where we're often chasing the next big thing, Stoicism brings us back to the basics. Gratitude. It's like a wise old friend reminding us to count our blessings, not our problems. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to focus on what's wrong or what's missing? It's like we're programmed to spot the one cloud in a clear sky. But here's where Stoicism flips the script. It asks us, what about the things that are going right? The small joys, the simple pleasures. Seneca, a big name in Stoicism, was all about gratitude. He knew that real happiness isn't about having everything, but appreciating what you have. It's not just being thankful for the big wins, but also for the everyday miracles we often overlook, like the warmth of the sun, a good cup of coffee, or a laugh with a friend. Practicing gratitude is like keeping a mental photo album of life's highlights. It shifts our focus from scarcity to abundance, from what's missing to what's present. And the cool part, this simple act of being thankful can seriously boost our mood and resilience. It's about finding beauty in a rain-soaked day or learning from a failed venture. Now, how do we cultivate this stoic attitude of gratitude? Start small. Maybe at the end of each day, think of three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big. Sometimes it's the small things that mean the most. This daily practice can shift your perspective in a big way. Being thankful doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges. It means viewing them through a lens of appreciation, understanding that even the tough times have something to offer. It's about embracing life in all its fullness, with all its ups and downs. So let's be thankful for the little things, for the lessons learned, and for the journey itself. This is the Stoic way, finding joy and peace not in external circumstances, but within ourselves. Being thankful, my friends, is a superpower. Let's use it. 10. Keep learning and growing. This one's all about embracing life as an endless classroom. You see, in Stoicism, the journey of self-improvement and learning never really ends. It's like having an eternal student mode switched on. You know how sometimes life feels like a roller coaster, throwing you into loops and turns you didn't expect? 
Stoicism teaches us to see each twist and turn as a chance to learn something new, to grow a little more. It's about seeing life's challenges not as obstacles, but as teachers. Epictetus, one of the big guys in Stoicism, had this to say, Who then is invincible? The one who cannot be upset by anything outside their reason choice. That's deep, right? It means our real strength lies in our ability to keep learning and adapting, no matter what life throws at us. So, how do we keep this stoic spirit of learning alive? By staying curious, by asking questions, by not being afraid to stumble or even fall. Every stumble is a lesson, every fall a chance to get up stronger. It's about not just reading or thinking about stoicism, but living it out every single day. Growth is all about those small daily decisions, choosing patience over frustration, understanding over judgment, action over inaction. It's in the seemingly mundane choices that we lay the foundation of a resilient and robust character. Remember, your journey is unique. There's no one-size-fits-all here. It's your path, filled with your own set of challenges and triumphs. Embrace it with all its quirks and bends, every step, every decision, every challenge. It's all part of crafting your story, your personal stoic journey. Stoicism is about rolling up your sleeves and diving into life, knowing that in the chaos and mess, there's a chance to emerge wiser, stronger, more resilient. So let's embrace our journey with courage, with an open heart and mind, ready for the lessons waiting for us. Keep learning, keep growing, my friends. Let's make every day count. This is the essence of modern Stoicism, a never-ending adventure in wisdom, self-discovery and personal growth. So, what's your next lesson going to be? And there you have it, my friends, our journey through the heart of Stoicism and its 10 life-changing lessons. Remember, Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's a way of living, a path that guides us through the highs and lows with grace and resilience. It's about finding strength in the storms, joy in the journey, and wisdom in the waiting. As we part ways today, I hope you carry these lessons with you, not just as ideas, but as beacons to light your way in the beautiful chaotic dance of life. If these insights have sparked a fire in you, if you're feeling that stirring in your soul to dive deeper, I've got just the thing. Check out our playlist right here on the screen. It's packed with more wisdom, more stories, and more stoic strategies to help you navigate life's wild waters. So go on, keep the flame of learning alive. Click on the playlist, and let's continue this journey together. Remember, Every day is a new chapter, every moment a new opportunity to grow, to love, to live fully, stay curious, stay brave, and most importantly, stay stoic. Until next time, keep shining, keep striving, and let's keep growing together.